What up, chum bags? So, I got a little video for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys know if you follow me on Instagram stuff or been following me for a while. Um, I live down here in South Florida, but I really don't fish for peacock bass that much. I did it for five, six years heavily. Caught a lot of really nice fish. Had a lot of fun, enjoy the species. Um, but I think a really big thing about fishing for me, since I'm able to do it a lot, is I had to keep challenging myself in order to, to be fun for me. I'm a competitive person, and I'm a person that wants to be challenged. And peacock bass fishing just really wasn't much of a challenge for me anymore. Um, you know, it's there's not really... It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You either get live bait and catch them, or you, you throw any, any kind of artificial that looks like a, a little minnow, and or you pluck them off beds like a lot of people do. So, um, I wanted to get into something that was more challenging to me, so I went back to uh, fishing largemouth bass fishing. Especially down here in South Florida, largemouth bass fishing is very difficult because of the peacock bass that are around here. There's a lot of uh, competition for food. Number one, the peacock bass are a lot more aggressive. Number two, um, when largemouth uh, spawn, uh, the male is left to protect the fry by himself and the peacocks take advantage of that and most all um, fry get destroyed lots of them i've seen it happen countless times so there are largemouth down here but they're just not as many as the rest of the country because they have to compete with so many other different critters down here so that makes it more of a challenge for me and it, i enjoy that i enjoy learning uh, about you know pressure systems and you know different moon phases and water columns and all the different lures you can use so for me, that's why I focus now on largemouth bass fishing um, for the most part. Every once in a while I get lucky and I'll catch a peacock while bass fishing. Or if I run across a, a giant, which occasionally happens, you run across one. And I, I consider a giant over 5 pounds. Anything over 5 pounds is a pretty nice sized peacock. It's going to put up a hell of a fight. Going to get some cool pictures. So if I run across one that's that's really big, I'll, I might uh, pursue it. Um, if I run across a real mega big one on a bed, I'll even pursue that. But for the most part, it's not really an interest for me anymore. Although I do have a lot of friends that are very interested in, in, um, in fishing for them. I'll tell you another reason why I don't do it either is because a lot of the people down here in South Florida exploit these peacock bass. Um, and it's just a one hit wonder. They pretend like they're some kind of great angler because they can catch these fish. Let me tell you, they're not that hard to catch. They fucking stick out like a sore thumb in the super clear water. They're pretty damn easy to catch. All you gotta do is just have two eyes and a hook. Um, so I was kind of embarrassed to be in the same community <laughs> as the peacock bass fishing community. There's a lot of great anglers out there that peacock bass fish, but there's a whole lot more shitheads that disrespect the fish, um, kill fish, do it all for the gram, do it all for, you know, the likes and love and shit. And I didn't want to be looked at as in that same community. Um, I res respect is a very big thing for me. Um, I hold it very important to me and um, there's a lot of respectful anglers out there around the country that look at these clowns down here and I didn't want to be looked at as one of those two I kind of felt corny being in that same group so no disrespect to the people that fish for peacocks there's a lot of people out there that do it and if you haven't done it for years and years it's still a challenge to you and you're just trying to get your personal best and you never caught a, a, a real trophy size one to keep doing your thing but for me personally that's why I don't really go after them anymore um, with that being said um, I do have some friends that still like to go after them and I do enjoy watching other people catch fish something something I enjoy really honestly I I really honestly think I enjoy watching other people catch incredible catches more than I do personally myself 
I get a joy out of it and adrenaline out of it, but I've caught so many big fish doing it. I really enjoy watching somebody else have a have an amazing experience. Um, so this video is basically I didn't fish at all. I just took out my buddy, uh, a guy I met not too long ago, country boy, originally from Georgia, and now he lives in Pompano. He comes down here and he wanted to beat his personal best peacock bass which was four pounds six ounces and I told him that I'd take him out and we'd beat it so um, watch the video I'll, 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 I'll give you a little hint we got within the weight of the fish that, that he caught was within two ounces higher or lower of his PB so you got to watch the video to see if we broke it or not um, and then there's also some clips of uh, my buddy Javi, who's uh, just started seriously fishing the last couple of years and still enjoys catching the peacock bass, and I enjoy watching him do it. So I decided to make a little video, and um, I think they just fish a lot of bait the whole time, which is a great way to go. Buy your own bait or go catch some bait. It's a fun time for, for people... Like these two gentlemen who work very hard and, uh, you know, Trav, he lives up in Pompano. He doesn't have the opportunity to fish for these peacocks all the time. So if you don't have all the opportunity in the world and you want to get tight and catch some pretty fish, it's the way to go. I, and I don't have no problem with it. It's the guys that do it five days out of the week and just destroy whole fisheries, you know, plucking both fish off beds and, you know, just going around every single day pond hopping and just catching and doing the same thing and the reason why I can I can say that and know that people do that is because I'm guilty of doing that in the past you know I, when I first started fishing for peacock down here I was thirsty and hungry and just catching any fish I could see off a of bed or anywhere and um you know I, I was I, I I wasn't fishing for the joy of fishing but was fishing more for wanting to get a picture you know um, wanting to compete with everybody else on Instagram and show everybody that I know how to fish too So I get it. I've been on both sides um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, Please like subscribe tell your friends. I'm gonna keep on posting videos. Uh, I got one coming up tomorrow It's gonna be all about uh, worms types of worms. I fish for largemouth bass um and different techniques and different ways to rig them or the ways that I use. I'm not gonna show all different techniques. I'll just show you techniques that I use because that's all I know how to talk about. I'm not gonna sit on, on on YouTube and pretend to know what the fuck I'm talking about if I don't. I'm, I'm just uh, showing tips about ways that I catch fish for worms. So that video should be posted tomorrow or the next day. Um, so thanks again, everybody. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And um, if you're not from South Florida and you guys want to come down here and catch some peacock bass, hit me up, man. I can definitely uh, take you out to get on some fish and um, make some memories. Sheesh. Peace. All right. Post spawn peacock. This is the one we were going for the other day. Caught him on a nice live bait. Ah, that's a pretty fish, man. It's a nice one. We wanted to make this little pit stop. We caught some bait. And I told Javi that this fish was swiping at my shit the other day. So we came and got it. Look at it. Fins on it. This is an OG, bro. This nigga this is been definitely alive a for a while. Bro. Old fish. Sheesh. All right, I'm going to get a release and then uh, we'll go keep on fishing. Phew. All right, we're gonna weigh it, just so you guys can see. Woo. So there you Barely. go, three Barely. pounds. So after you look at the picture and it looks like a 10 pounder, now you realize how motherfuckers be making fish look. Still pretty fish. Oh man, skirt. I mean, he would be fucking four or five pounds if he was eating. Oh, he would be five. Definitely. Hold on, let me get this nigga still ah. Oh shit. Oh, alright. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. Oh, fuck. All right. That's my point now. Fuck, fuck you foot ass nigga. They want to in the water now. Next spot. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, guys. Javi wanted to make one more cast. Now let's let me show you the difference. Now this is a feeding peacock. Look at the gut on that. Look at all that. That's that thing has been again. eating. That's glue going there, you know what I'm saying? I think it's still kicking in there. Now that fish probably weighs the same as the other fish, even though the other fish was six inches longer. It was spawned out. But that one is eating good, bro. Good shit. Woo! I can't get underwater with this one, so you just gotta release it like that. That one's got a thicker back to it and everything, man. If that other one was eating like that. Yep. Good shit. I can't get any video of him catching them because he keeps catching them before I set the camera. Man. Sheesh! There you go. Nice thick. These, these are not spawned out fish, man. They're eating good. Beautiful fish. Look at the look at the fins on that one. Pull the pull it. Look how perfect those are. Oh man! In the green, in the blue, in the tail. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, take your time. You got nice clear water, the sun bright. You see the face. Turn around there. You go down there. GoPro, stop recording. Are you covering your face down lower? That's actually a better pick. It's a very pretty fish. Alright, show me his mouth. But turn the tail so I can see a little bit of the tail too. There you go. That's a good one. There you go. Where I pointed where, those, uh, where that grass was at, there was a couple over there too. That's the only place I've seen any. Woo! Little slim pickings right there. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty orange hue to that. Yeah. Hold that shit up in the sun. Let me see what that looks like. He got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> Get it! 
<laughs> Russell, <laughs> he got it. <laughs> he got it. Good shit. He came charging out of nowhere. Oh shit. Boy, he still got a lot of juice in him. Good shit, brother. There you go. The shiner was like bouncing around. I saw that. I saw the shiner, but I didn't see the fish. And he just came out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. We're going to take some good pictures of it. Let me take some pictures first, and then we'll wait. That just kind of calms down a little bit, all right? All right. All right. It could be a PB. What are we looking for? Four six? Yeah. All right, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see. All right, calm down. Just got a lot of spunk. Relax, relax. Oh. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. That's <laughs> still a solid fish. I was waiting for it to go four, six, something. <laughs> four, five, six. We're trying to get four, six. Oh shit! All right, let's get the release. Hold on, let me get a couple picture. You want to get in the water? Take a picture of you. A couple picture of you. Hold on one second. I gotta get some pics. Oh my god, solid fish, bro. Like holding it like you're gonna release it. Alright, put on one second. Pull it up one more time, let me see. There we go. Hey, we're still fishing. We're gonna beat this PV. Solid fish. Solid man. fish. I'll take this all day. Solid. Take it all day, baby. The tug is the drug. Tell them who you is. Topwater trap, boy. Topwater trap. Topwater trap from Pompano. Trying to do my thing. Sheesh. Fresh water all day, baby. <laughs> Let's get it. Solid fucking fish, bro. I knew she was going Yo, it came out of nowhere. The shiner was flopping around. Well, here's the shiner right here. I see it. Still alive. <laughs> like he's looking at the China like you motherfucker. Right, I'll give you a little present, dude. <laughs> Take that home with you. <laughs> I think it really took the shiner with him. It did. Yeah. Well there you go, man. That's a true sportsman. Yeah. We caught the fish. We, we let it go home with the, with a little snack. Cool. Good shit, brother. Appreciate Sheesh. it. Man. Let's yeah. get another one. Yeesh. Okay. Okay. Quit showing off, asshole. <laughs> you just had to wait for me to like say there was no fish here and then catch one, huh? Yeah. Cast it up in that business. That's a healthy eater too. Look at that gut on him. Okay. There you go. It's so awesome, like how some peacocks will be so clear or so bright and some will be so dark like he doesn't have any red or orange on him it's like a maroon like a burgundy or something yeah it almost looks like a uh right 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 that's a strong fish though Ooh, look at that dude. One just swarmed up and tried to hit your shiner. 
Look at your shiner right there, Paul. Yeah. A big one just came up and tried to eat it. Right when you were looking at your shit. It was bigger than that. It just came up and just swarmed at it. What up, guys? So, man. So close. So close. Fucking not even an ounce off. I thought we had it. If we would have caught that fish maybe an hour earlier before it farted or whatever, <laughs> it would have been his new PB. But it was still fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Um, more stuff to come. Um, like I said, I got a, um, a worm video coming up with just tips and techniques on different ways that I have had success catching largemouth bass um, in South Florida. So that will be posted in the next couple of days. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, thanks for following. Um, if you aren't subs subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave comments. Do all that good stuff. Help me build my YouTube channel for 2019. All right. Um, the whole point of this YouTube thing is, uh, you know, entertainment is is one aspect, but the most important aspect is to really share information and um techniques and just try to teach people different things motivate you guys to go out and fish and try new things and learn new stuff so um if you have any comments or any suggestions let me know i'm going inside man it's been a long day sheesh <laughs>